Ladies, gentlemen, and fans of the sweet science and beyond, gather around. You're about to embark on a roller coaster of emotions, a journey into the heart of modern day gladiatorial combat, mixed with a dash of digital age drama. This isn't just any fight, it's a clash of epochs, a meeting of minds, and a war of words that could only happen in the 21st century. Welcome to the spectacle of the century, Tyson vs. Paul, a saga where mythology meets memeology, where legacy grapples with virality. In the beginning, there was Mike Tyson, a man whose fists were so feared, the very mention of his name could induce a knockout in the faint-hearted. Iron Mike, the youngest heavyweight champion in history, a warrior sculpted by the gods of war themselves, destined to reign supreme in the pantheon of boxing legends. But as the wheel of time turned, the Colosseum of Combat evolved from the confines of hallowed halls to the boundless realms of the internet, giving rise to a new breed of champion. The influencer turned boxer. Enter Jake Paul, the brash, unapologetically bold YouTuber with a knack for stirring the pot and a penchant for throwing punches, both verbal and physical. A man whose claim to fame was built not on decades of blood, sweat, and tears in the gym, but on viral videos, trending tweets, and a fearless or reckless, depending on whom you ask, attitude towards life and boxing. He looks fierce. He looks like he would knock anyone out, which he probably would knock most people out. But it all began with a tweet, as many tales do in our modern odyssey. A casual call out, a digital gauntlet thrown down with the click of a button. The world watched, half in amusement, half in disbelief, as Jake Paul challenged Mike Tyson to a battle for the ages. Let's see if the old lion still has a roar, he typed, his fingers dancing across the keys with the same ferocity he hoped to display in the ring. Tyson, ever the embodiment of primal might and timeless swagger, responded not with words, but with a video, a clip that captured the essence of a warrior unbroken by time, his punches still thunder, his gaze still lightning. Be careful what you wish for, his silence roared, a message delivered not through the ether of the internet, but through the universal language of power and determination. As the fight drew closer, the world was treated to a tale of two camps. In one corner, Tyson, surrounded by the ghosts of boxing's golden era, trained in the shadows, away from the limelight, each drop of sweat a testament to his undying commitment to the craft. His regimen was grueling, a testament to a time when boxing was not just a sport, but a way of life. Every punch thrown against the heavy bag echoed through the annals of history, a reminder of the titans who once a 31 the year age difference. Meanwhile, Jake fight. Paul took to you the know, digital arena to display stuff. his preparation, a blend of modern science and sheer willpower. His training, streamed for the world to see, was a spectacle of its own, a fusion of traditional boxing techniques and the relentless energy of youth. With each jab, each uppercut, he sought to bridge the gap between eras to prove that the spirit of a champion knows no generation. The weigh-in was more than a mere formality. It was a collision of worlds. Tyson, the seasoned gladiator, exuded an aura of quiet confidence, his physique a testament to the timeless adage that age is but a number. Paul, the embodiment of the new age, stood tall, his eyes alight with the fire of ambition, his frame the result of countless hours of training and dedication. As they faced off, the tension was palpable, a charged atmosphere that spoke of the impending clash. This was more than a fight. It was a symbol of the eternal struggle between experience and youth, wisdom and audacity, legacy and innovation. But could he knock out Jake Paul? 100%. He's got the power to knock out Jake Paul. But how long can he sustain that kind of attack? That's the real question. And we just don't know. We just don't know. Two rounds, three rounds, four rounds. Hey, who knows? Maybe he can go the distance. Dancing around the ring with the agility of a gazelle, his punches sharp and quick, aiming to find a crack in the armor of the Titan before him. The rounds progressed, each minute a testament to the fighter's resolve, their spirits unyielding, their bodies pushed to the brink of human endurance. As the fight unfolded, it became clear this was not just a battle of strength, but a chess match of strategy and willpower. 
Tyson's blows, each carrying the weight of history, sought to teach the young lion a lesson in respect. Paul, fueled by a desire to forge his own legacy, countered with speed and unpredictability, a whirlwind of energy in the ring. Amidst the flurry of punches, the gasps of the crowd, and the relentless tick of the clock, there were moments when time seemed to stand still. Moments when the old guard and the new blood, through their shared sacrifice and commitment to their craft, transcended the confines of the ring. They were not just fighters, but gladiators, warriors of the modern age, etching their names into the annals of time with each drop of sweat and blood. When the final bell rang, the outcome was almost secondary to the journey. Tyson, with the dignity of the champion he is, and Paul, with the fire of the contender he aspires to be, embraced, a mutual respect born from the heat of battle. The fight had been more than a contest. It was a convergence of paths, a meeting of destinies. In the aftermath, the world buzzed with analysis, opinions, and hot takes. But beyond the noise, beyond the spectacle and the hype, there lay a deeper truth. This fight was a testament to the enduring spirit of competition, to the relentless pursuit of greatness that defines the human condition. As the dust settled, both fighters looked back on the journey. Tyson, ever the philosopher warrior, saw in this battle a reflection of his own journey, fraught with triumphs and tribulations, yet unmarked by regret. Paul, the prodigy of the digital age, recognized the value of the lessons learned in the crucible of combat, each one a stepping stone on his path to greatness. The saga of Tyson versus Paul, while a singular event in the annals of sports history, was also a chapter in a larger story the story of boxing, of combat sports, and indeed, of life itself. It was a reminder that the heart of a champion beats within all who dare to step into the arena, regardless of the outcome. For Tyson, the fight was a reaffirmation of his indomitable spirit, a declaration that legends never truly fade. They merely evolve. For Paul, it was a baptism by fire, a moment that defined not the end, but the beginning of his journey in the world of combat sports. As the lights in the arena dimmed and the crowd dispersed, the ring stood empty, a silent witness to the drama that had unfolded. But the echoes of Tyson and Paul's clash would resonate long into the future, a melody of might and determination that would inspire generations to come. For in the end, this was more than a fight. It was a celebration of the warrior spirit, a tribute to the sweet scenes of boxing, and a reminder that, in the dance of comeback, there are no true losers, only warriors who have the courage to answer the call of the ring. And so, the saga of Tyson versus Paul closes, but the story of their battle lives on, a legend retold wherever stories of courage, determination, and the relentless pursuit of greatness are cherished.